Okay, here we have a new video on um, Autolink Tone Edge. This is a modern made Babbitt link. Um, I've done some refacing work on it, uh, probably 95% where I want to be. Uh, the client didn't ask for it to be uh, opened or anything, just clean it up where it is. Um, I got to even up this side rail a little bit better. Uh, but I'm pretty far along, and he was also um, wanted a, a little extra projection from it. And um, usually, rather than adding uh, a large baffle, I usually recommend that we just fill in the concavity that is in this design right here. You know, this concavity here is like a black hole when it comes to uh, generating sound. I mean, if you like a real dark mouth uh, piece it's okay uh, dark sounding but um, for uh, a little extra projection that needs to be filled in and I recommend uh, doing that um, and I use a, a product called Apoxy starts with the letter A you can uh, google that on the internet they sell a number of different products uh, this fix it um, is uh, the second product I've used from them. I've used the regular epoxy and it's fine, but this came in a small quantity, so um, I use this quite a bit. Um, it's a paste. You store it in your refrigerator, keep it fresh, and you mix up equal parts of that. Um, so I'm going to do all that in real time here. Take a little bit. You don't need much because you're getting some out of each one of these guys, so this is going to be more than we need, but take out enough that you can judge the size of both parts. So um, I'm using a, uh, a little bit of cellophane that I pulled off of my the back of my sandpaper. If you remember, I said, don't throw that away, it's useful. Uh, I like mixing epoxy on it. So you pull out two pieces that are reasonably the same size, and then you have to get a little messy mixing them up. Even though these have been in the refrigerator, they're they're not. It's not too hard to work with. And this stuff is not like the plumber's epoxy that that I use uh, uh, from the hardware store. That that's good stuff to put baffles and metal mouthpieces. But that stuff only dry, dries hard in five. You can't work it after five minutes, and after ten minutes or so, you can sand it. This you're going to need to dry overnight, but it's nice that it um, has a longer working time in case you want to shape something, and also it dries black, um, and it almost looks like the original hard rubber on the inside. Not that looks are that important inside, but, you know, why not? I think uh, this is used in the uh, RPC mouthpieces and a few other brands uh, to create internal shapes. <sighs> I also um, keep handy some either hardware wipes or baby wipes. I don't have a sink down in my shop down here in the basement, so these are handy to have to get the epoxy off off you. So um, sometimes I scuff up the surface, but it's not that important on this. I don't think I'll, I don't think it's going to fall it'll fall out. Take a little dab, put it right in there, and you know, the more I use two or three different shapes of tools, but you don't need this much. And really, the key is to try to make it real close to the final shape without a lot of extra. I used to overfill these and sand them down, but that's a lot of work. So if you can just form them to the shape you need the first time, you save yourself a lot of work. And the more you have to work it, the more you have a chance of nicking it up. So I'm just trying to fill it in flat, maybe give it a little arch. You know, it could be something we could work with. See, I'm scraping excess out of here. That's that much less sawdust I'm going to create. So that's roughing it in. These are uh, stainless steel tools you can get at craft stores. Um, they're used also by dentists, but... Uh, you can get them cheaper in a craft supply. They're handy. So I'm not going to leave that rough like there. You, you moisten up your tool and you can start smoothing. Got to keep it moist.
when it gets really down, it starts getting dry, you can actually put a little bit of this right on it, moisten it up. Sometimes like, you can even spit on it. It's all fair game. So that's getting real close. You're making nice and smooth as if it never occurred. Always take a look gun sighted to see if you got any bumps in there. And uh, this stuff you can come back to after a half hour or hour and you can still move it around a little bit. It sets up slowly. And sometimes you 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 know you might want to finish smooth it after it after it sets a little bit. But I'm just going to leave this till tomorrow morning, and then I'll use my sanding sticks to finish it up. And I think that's all that's going to need is just that little bit of uh, modification there, and it'll turn it into a a play a mouthpiece that plays more like you want it so there you have it you just clean your tools off before it sets up on them and you know if you have a little waste there you just leave it there let it set up and throw it throw it away after it gets hard there you there you have it bye